Hello and welcome to another SQL walkthrough. So we're going to now grab a, a, a flat file that's just a flat text file and read through it as if we're going to we're going to load it into a database. We're going to make one column, put each line in the column. So we're going to make a line, we're going to a table called inbox and we're going to read it in as a line of text, right? And so the data we're going to look at is from my Python for Everybody class, the mailbox short. And we're going to be reading through these records. And we're going to use things like regular expressions to pull things out of these records. So we're going to write SQL that's just kind of like reading a flat file. So a select is going to read this whole thing. But first, we've got to get it loaded in. And so there's a couple ways that we could get this loaded in. We could do a wget. We could pull it down into our local directory. And then we would copy from inbox short txt this file off our home, our local directory. And with this delimiter, and so what's going on here is naturally the copy reads this line by line. But we actually don't want to split it. We want the entire line all the way from the beginning to the end to be into one column. So it's going to split by new lines. And it you don't and so what you pick is you pick in this case, we don't want it to split. So we're we're going to say we're not going to use delimiters at all. Um, so we're going to use a delimiter of a bell. And that's a character that doesn't appear anywhere in this file. And so I could do that, but I want to do something even more awesome. I want to say copy mbox, which means load mbox <coughs> from program, right? And we're going to run wget. Now these are some parameters. This is quiet, and this is the send the output to the standard out, and this at sign is an extra parameter and then that says retrieve all this stuff and feed it in the background into copy and with delimiter E007. So let's go ahead and just run that one. Oops, come back. So that did it. It loaded it, it pulled it off the internet and then it put it right into mbox. So I can say select star from mbox limit five. So it wouldn't, wouldn't hurt if I could type select right. So there we are. There's our five rows, our first five rows of it. And it's just this exact thing stuck in. Now we could do tricky stuff. We could pull things out and we could create foreign keys for some of these things. And, and But for now, we're just going to play with it from a regular expression perspective. So um, let's take a look at all the lines in the inbox where line is starts with a letter from and a blank. So that's showing these things. There are 27 rows and that's the actual lines that start with from and blank. And so that was one. We can ask, we can say, you know what, I don't just want the line. I would like you to scan up to the first at sign and then go up to the next space, right? So I want to get this domain. So what that basically says is, so this line becomes substring line. So we're pulling out a substring, a, a single, a single thing. We're basically saying, <clears throat> so we're going to start extra. So what we're going to do is we're going to pull out this, this email address. And so what we're going to do is we're going to look for um, the substring line. So line is the whole thing. And we're going to look pull out the entire email address right there. Okay. And so we're going to look for, we're going to pass the line through the following regular expression. We're going to look for a blank, start extracting, then any character one or more times, followed by an at sign, followed by anything but a blank. So this is a bracket, so it's a single character, but the caret in the beginning is not. So that's not a blank, plus appends to that, it says one or more times in the parentheses says stop extracting followed by a blank. And so this is, we're gonna apply this to the lines that start with from space. 
So we're going to pull out the email address from each of those lines. And so now we've got the email address and we're using regular expressions. Okay, this is kind of a mess because this whole little substring line where we're extracting the email address, we got to repeat it a couple times because we're going to do a group by. And we're going to group by, in effect, the entire email address. And we're going to order by the count of the email addresses. We're going to select the email address and the count of the email address. It's kind of like running select distinct, but counting the ones as you're throwing them away. Where line is like from, starts with a from space, group by the email address, order by the count of the email address descending. Right. So let's run that, and it is going to make us a count. Look at that. Chen Wen, like in everything. In Python for Everybody, Chen Wen is five times, appears five times. And so she had five email messages in the first month or so of 2008 in the Sakai project, which is where this all came from. Okay. And so we can do the same kind of thing by if we really wanted to not repeat the substring line and regular expression, we could have done this as a subselect. So, right, this here is that this string, but there's no select distinct, so that's all of them. So you can think of this subselect as producing a one column table, right? So that subselect produces a one column table. And then what I can do is, is get the email and then count the email. Again, this is like a virtual table from the subselect, group by email, order by count email desk. So this is a more succinct way to say it because I'm not replacing, I'm not repeating the substring over and over and over again. So this is going to give me that same count. But, you know, most developer database folks will tell you, don't use subselect if you don't have to. And what I would say is, don't use subselect in online things. And you can use subselect in data mining applications as long as you don't have to wait too long for them to run. If it's the difference between four seconds and six seconds, as long as you got to run it not too often, you're probably okay. So there you go. We've turned we've turned this flat text file. We retrieved it automatically right on the copy, turned it into a bunch of uh, rows, one column, and then we played with it uh, with regular expressions. Hope it helps. Cheers.